unity, fraternity, and patriotism. Our Council's focus on serving our churches and our local communities. To put things into perspective, the Order gave $173 million directly to charity and performed over 71.5 million man-hours of voluntary service in 2014. And we donate almost half a million pints of blood every year nationwide. Knights also do volunteer work at 136 Veterans Affairs Medical Centers. The fourth degree of the Knights of Columbus is referred to as the Patriotic Degree. We raised funds earlier this year, and along with a sponsor, we put, it, we put on this dinner. So I am honored to be speaking with you today as the faithful navigator of the fourth degree, which is the equivalent of the President. I am so fortunate to be here today with you all to honor our service members and remember the sacrifices they have made in order to defend honor, duty, and our country. I am so blessed to have so many friends, brother knights, and family here in attendance. There are two men in particular who are here tonight that I would like to mention, not because they are any more special than any one of you other veterans here, but because they are special to me. They are both my uncles. I won't ask them to stand because neither one of them is the type of man who likes to draw attention to himself. While I don't remember knowing them when they were teenagers and volunteered and went to Vietnam, it was shortly after they returned that each became part of my life. They have lived their lives with purpose and dignity and they are both patriotic and each bears permanent injuries received in Vietnam. Next to my father, they are the two men I grew up admiring and respecting the most. Thank you and I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, rise for the presentation of the colors by the Sea Cadets. And then remain standing for the singing of our national anthem, which will be read by the scholar.